Hello friends, in this video, let's talk about one of the important concept method overloading in object oriented programming concepts. This is one of the important type in polymorphism. In the previous videos, we clearly talked about what is method overriding and what is inheritance we talked about. So let's clearly talk about here what is overloading in Python, method overloading in Python. Is it possible first of all? If not, how to achieve this requirement? First, let me give you a, a basic understanding on method overloading. Then I'll talk about either it is possible or not. As I told you, this is one of the type in polymorphism. So let's quickly talk about what is overloading. See, hope you know that overriding concept. Please don't get confused. So now let's come to the overriding part. I don't want to confuse you with that. So let's take there is a class which this is a class. Hope you know that class contains block of methods means a collection of methods. I mean, method contains collection of uh, statements. Okay, so let's take uh, this is a method in the class. This is a method in the class. So this is one more method in the class. So this is one more method in the class. So totally assume it. I have uh, four methods. If you see one. So if it is one, two, three, four methods I have. So assume it the name of the method name is A. Then the name of the method name is B, name of the method name is C here, name of the method name is D. So if you have a class with the name of the methods like this, then there is no question of overloading. You do not need to talk about in this scenario. It means that there is no case of talking overloading here. Okay, so let's slowly uh, go back. Now I have a method A here. First method name of the method is A. Second also A third also a fourth also a but a accepts two arguments let us say two arguments b accepts three arguments this this accepts three arguments only method number also three and uh, it's also accept three arguments and assume this is going to accept four arguments assume it now the name of the method is the same here a a, A and A. If you see the difference here, between this and this, number of arguments is different. Now, between this and this, same argument, 3, 3, but the type of the arguments might differ. Here all three arguments are strings, here all three arguments are integers, might be different. Now, when you compare this with this, number of arguments are different. It, here it is 3, here it is 4. There are some slight differences are there between each and every method. But name of the method is A only. See this concept we are going to call it as overloading. It is one of the polymorphism. Same method exists in multiple forms. Polymorphism is nothing but same method exists in multiple forms. So here A method we have this A same method name exists in the same class with the multiple forms that is nothing but a overloading in polymorphism now so this is straight away possible in c sharp or dot net in c sharp dot net or vb dot net or i can call it as directly dot net as i worked in the dot net earlier so and in the similar way it is straight away possible even in java even though i did not work but it works. I know that it works. This overloading method overloading, overloading concept as it is, it works either in Java or .NET. Now, in the similar way, does it work in Python? No. In the similar way, it does not work. Then how to achieve this requirement? I'll show you how to achieve this requirement in a Python window. So, there is a slight change we need to do it. We can achieve this, but I'll tell you what change we have to do it. 
ओके लेट्स क्विकली गो टू द आईडीएल पाइथन आईडीएल एंड लेट्स क्विकली टॉक अबाउट दट हाउ टू अचीव दिस सो एज आई टोल्ड यू एज इट इज मेथड ओवरलोडिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल डायरेक्टली इन पाइथन बट ये देर इज अ वर्क अराउंड वी कैन अचीव दैट सो लेट्स क्विकली सेव दिस फास्ट so i'm going to save in uh, somewhere examples so that i can i am making as over name of the file is over okay so this is my file where is that yeah here i am going to write so let's define a class hope you know that how to define a class how to create it because we already talked about in all the previous videos let's take a um, over load i'm just taking name as overload you can keep whatever the name you want you can keep your name even there is no worries let's define a method def so name of the method is um, uh what i say test method i'm just making as test method okay self comma i'm going to take x comma y okay print this is from this is from uh first method i'm just making a statement just to understand first method or first line or whatever it is it's up to us next let's define a same method def test self okay i'm not passing any argument test is a default optional argument default argument not optional okay print this is from second method okay now that's okay next let me define same method uh, with a test again so self comma x even i am giving the same names also variable names or you want to give a let's keep a just to explain i can there is no not much difference for me to explain with the different or same names this is this is from third method okay now that's fine now save it now let's create an object for it obj equal to overload okay so ideally so as i showed you in the picture here i created i created four method three methods assume three methods with the same name but different arguments if you see here i created let's take a um, print screen and let me tell you this yeah, if you really see it here again i created that name of the method as test name of the method as test name of the method as test see i created same method methods with the same name but number of arguments self is common nothing to worry so i am cutting off that here i have two arguments here zero arguments apart from self here it is one argument if you see here name of the method is same but number of arguments are different in each and every method this is nothing but a overload method overloading but it is not possible directly like this in python so let me run it and quickly show you either i am able to execute or not so then i'll modify that test okay now let's uh, pass uh, self we don't need to pass let's pass two okay i am calling one method by passing one here i am passing as a, a 1 comma 2 and here i'm passing as uh, otherwise let's keep it uh, okay nothing see if you see i'm i'm making as uh, see first two if you want me to put let me put top this so that you understand the order next one is zero okay let's keep this second okay now i i what in what way i declared two arguments zero arguments one argument so in the similar way i'm calling it let me run it and show you either i'm able to achieve or not when i run it oh it is giving the error because my compiler get confused my compiler get confused which method i have to execute it okay so i see when 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 it sees this 
it says that it may execute it tries to execute this and says that my method is not expecting any parameters but still you are passing values in the similar way my compiler get confuses and says that i cannot execute because of this now how to achieve this requirement finally as it is method overloading is not possible in python like c sharp dot net or vb dot net or java then how to handle this okay so let's remove all this so here self is common let's just say x equal to none y equal to none let's make it as python is case sensitive now see i have only one method if you really see this so one method i have i create an object and i here i am passing how many here i am passing let's take the print screen and let me show you this yeah if you see here here i have only one method which is having two arguments but two arguments are accepting nuns okay now here this is object creation this is here i am passing two arguments here i am passing zero arguments here i am passing one argument so if i run it for each and every method it works for this also it works for this also it works for this also it works i can show you that let's me run this let's come back to the python window here let's run this yes you see this this is from first method okay message is common again that's the reason why i'm getting the same thing so let me make it as x comma x comma y now let's run it is yes, do you see this so i pass here i passed one comma two that is the reason why i got one space two here i didn't pass anything that is the reason why you got none none here i passed um, two i passed two comma none means so to achieve the overloading you need to specify like this so when you specify like this your method works even though you pass the values or not it doesn't matter so this is how we are going to achieve method overloading in python this is one of the important concept in polymorphism hope you understand what is polymorphism and what is overloading and clearly i talked about overriding in the previous video so that's all about it if you have any questions please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates thank you thank you for watching